Colleagues, I really appreciate what the author is trying to do. The annual completed construction of new privately owned housing units has been below historical levels for the last nearly 10 years in California nationally. But can California afford yet another general obligation bond? We've approved a few already this week, and I should try and add up how much we're looking at to encumber the general fund. I would suggest we cannot afford another general obligation bond. Colleagues, the voters approved a $500 million bond for, excuse me, a $9 billion bond for, this, for school improvements. That's going to cost $500 million a year. Our minimum wage is increasing. Our pension contributions are increasing. We're even talking single payer health care, which we're, I mean, that just will blow the mind out of our budget. Uh, we, we, we even, in the next couple of years, have to pay nearly $300 million a year for the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine bonds from their $3 billion program. That's coming into our general fund. And our unrestricted net deficits for the state, and for the UC system, and the CSU system are $180 billion. We are underwater. We are in the worst shape of any state unless you divide it by the population and compare it, we're actually 44th per capita. We've got to start turning our ship around before we keep adding and encumbering the general fund because it's going to squeeze out the programs you want, the child care programs, all the things you're asking for. That's, that's all going to go when you have fixed principal and interest payments. We should be cautious, colleagues. I urge a no vote. 